Yes, guys, I'm Si. Welcome to Cardiff City World and it's the South Wales Derby Daily. We are here with another ex-footballer and another ex-Cardiff City hero. Uh, I'm delighted to once again be speaking to uh, former Cardiff City midfielder, Mr Mark Bonner. How are you, mate? I'm very well, mate. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good. I'm really good. I've um, It's an exciting week and uh, I just thought, oh, do you know what? We've kind of launched this channel and it's... It's been really, it's progressing nicely and people are kind of subscribing and stuff. And I thought, oh, it's the biggest game left in the season, really, unless we do end up getting to the playoffs or something like that. So I thought, what could I do, which would be, you know, a bit special for the build-up? And I thought, let's speak to as many sort of ex-players as we can. Little interviews, get people in the mood. Um, it's a, it is a big game, mate, and Cardiff are in good form. Swansea picked up a little bit and then they lost uh, to Bristol, which is obviously a, a derby game in itself. Um, Cardiff didn't lose to Bristol. They did the double. <laughs> um, but in terms of that big game feeling in the week, building up to a to a big game, to a derby, you know, to the Leeds game, to, to these games which are with these rivals, like how do the players, do you think, uh, deal with that pressure? But also how, how do you think their feelings compare to the fans, because obviously the fans, you know, Swansea, Bristol, Leeds, Cardiff fans, all, you know, they hate them. But do the players feel that as well, do you think? I think the preparation, like, during the week will be quite uh, similar for every game. You'll you'll prepare, you'll train. And I think it's only towards maybe the, the day before the game or, or on the game that you feel that you, you get the how important it is to the fans and you know how much they want you to win against local rivals and I guess that's the same with any any sort of derby games the the players I think it's for me because I I'd been there quite a few years as well so you 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 feel more of uh, with the club and you feel the fans and how much they want to win so yeah it, it's exciting I mean there's nothing better than a derby game to play in it because the atmospheres are the fantastic atmospheres and the great games to play in. And uh, sometimes the, the form book kind of goes out the window on a derby game. They're a bit like cup games and, you know, the atmosphere and that. So, yeah, I know Cardiff are the most informed team out of the two at the moment, but they can go either way on derby games. But they're, they're great games to play in. Yeah, and I think there's a little bit extra on this game. Obviously, if Swansea were to lose, they're going to get dragged into the relegation. If results go against them this weekend, they could be right in it. And equally, if Cardiff were to able to get that win, they sort of go that little bit closer to the playoffs, and it's like an outside chance. And it's there's that ex, like there is something on the game in terms of you know the points. It's not just right. It's a big game derby, but nothing yeah, there's, really changes. There's the pride about winning as a derby game, but yeah, there's there's something for them both to play in. So it's not a game with nothing at stake in terms of points and positions. Like you say, Cardiff have gone, I think, is it five or six games are on a bit of a yeah. run at the moment? So, yeah, they are the informed team. And like you say, if they if they, if they they go and get three points, it's, you know, it's going to be an exciting running. And they have got like a an outside chance of, you know, creeping up the table to see if they can get in the playoffs. And uh, like you mentioned with Swansea, I think they're 15th at the moment, are they? Yeah, like five points off the relegation zone. So, so it's uh, not many, is it? A lose for them, and if some of the sort of teams around them, underneath them, pick up points, then yeah, it's they can start edging further towards the relegation. So there's there's there's, there's a lot at stake for both teams, really. So mm. it, it it will give the the derby an added edge, won't it? Indeed. So I asked Willie. I said uh, that some of his teammates have described him as uh, angry because uh, I think I think you might have mentioned it and. And Campbell said it a few times. So I said, you know, going into like a, a, a game with rivals and things like that, did, did he, was he ever asked to sort of behave himself or, you know, tone it down a bit or whatever? And he said, no, he was never asked to do that. You need that that passion and, and things to get the crowd going. But interestingly, yeah. when we talked, when we did the full podcast the other week, um, you talked about the need to go to away games quiet the crowd in the first sort of 15 minutes and I think that's going to be a big thing for Cardiff their away performances have been really strong this year the way they're set up and and tactically and everything like that just feel like for Cardiff if they can kind of get through that first 10 15 minutes quieten the crowd down a little and then maybe that form comes more into play then doesn't it 
Yeah, I mean, with any derby, the, the the start of the game, the fans are going to be buzzing. It's going to be quite hostile. And for the for the away team, yeah, like you say, if you can go and quieten them down, have a good start the first fifteen minutes, uh, the players can have a few touches on the ball, build up the confidence, and then quieten them. And it quietens the crowd, and then they'll get into the stride where they've been doing well over the, the last five or six games. And that's when that form and confidence will come into it, hopefully, and they can. Uh, you know, quiet in the Swansea fans and the play at the the team, and hopefully push on and start dictating the the game early on. Really, hundred percent. You mentioned um, just before we started that you'd played uh, a derby at the Vetch and you played one at Ninian Park. Um, which one do you feel was more hostile in terms of atmosphere? I, I suppose think it's, probably, it's, it's always going to be the away game because. Mm. When you're at home, you've got your fans behind you and they're close to you. There's more of home fans. When you're away from home, if you go and pick up a ball for a throw-in or a corner and you're near the Swansea fans, you know, they just hurl abuse at you and stuff. So you don't really feel it as much during the game. But if you if you get, like I say, if you go and take a corner or a throw-in, you can definitely hear the some of the abuse that's coming from the fans. And they get, like you say, they can be quite brutal because there's a built-up frustration. It's their passion, their team. It's a local rival. And uh, they, they they so want their team to win and have the bragging rights when they go to work uh, uh, the following week. Yeah, I agree. It's, um, it's going to be really interesting to see how the players deal with it because I think both teams have got a few new players in in January, so they won't have experienced that. South Wales derby atmosphere. Obviously, Cardiff did very well at home. It was a really good performance, actually. It's probably one of their best performances of the season, Absolutely. if not, um, you know, certainly over the last few years in the in the derby games. It hasn't been a, a pleasant fixture for Cardiff fans. Um, the other question I asked Willie, which I would like to put to you because I'm kind of interested, what game for you, sort of early in your Cardiff career, did you realise, or is there a particular game where you realised that Ninian Park was like a, a special place atmosphere-wise? Was there like an early game where you were like, oh, hello, this is a proper ground? No, I, I mean, I'd spoke to other players and stuff. Be even before I came down and talked to the club, everyone said like, I mean, I remember speaking to Billy Eyre because he was saying, you know, come down, it's a sleeping giant. The fans are so passionate. It's It's a big club just waiting to be woken up. And so, so I'd had all the feedback before I'd came down. But then when, when you play in the, in the games, you think, crikey. And once the, we started getting up the table and doing well and the gates, you know, the, the more fans were coming through the gates and stuff. And you thought, Christ, yeah, they're really passionate fans. And as we progressed through the, the leagues with Sam and stuff, and we started playing bigger clubs like Stoke away. And you think that you've got thousands of Cardiff fans. They're just, a, they're really passionate uh, and, and a great set of fans, and you know when when you need them to get behind you, you know that you you can hear them. It's like having that extra man on the pitch and that. But equally so, if you're not playing well, they they're the first to boo you off at half time, which they paid their money and they're passionate. They just want you to win. So yeah, they are. They're a great set of fans. It'll be interesting actually on Saturday with obviously Swansea would be in the home team. Um, you know, the, the couple of thousand or whatever that Cardiff do take down the road. Um, their voices, you always seem to hear the away fans, whichever, I think it's the way the new grounds are kind of set up, I don't know. But the away fans always seem to be the louder, more prominent in terms of chants and singing and things like that. Do you, Will that make a difference even though to, to the players, even though obviously they'll be in the minority in terms of numbers? Yeah, I think it. I think it does. I mean, as a player, you're focused on your job on the pitch and that. But you can, in the background, you can hear the fans, your own fans, edging you on, and, and it does give you a, a lift. Particularly if if, the, if if it's going against you a little bit, and you've got the fans, you know, boosting you yeah. on it. Yeah, it does help you. It does. Yeah. So I, I'm sure Cardiff will do very well. It's just important that they start really well in that first sort of five, ten, fifteen minutes. Yeah, I think it's also being calm in those moments when it does get a bit um, hostile and a bit emotional and maybe decisions don't go your way or you can see the goal or, you know, whatever these things may be, the players have got to be calm in that, in amongst that emotion and the hostility. But also the managers have got to make decisions based on, you know, that calm sort of thing of seeing it as almost black and white instead of, being caught up in the emotion so they get things right. And it'll be a, an interesting tactical uh, battle because I think 
Bullet has shown that he's got a bit of tactical now, and he's been learning as he's gone through the season, particularly away from home. He's been very clever. But also Luke Williams at Swansea has come in after you know they were on this awful run of just losing games and it looked like they were sort of hurtling towards the bottom. He steadied the ship a little bit. Do you think the managers will ultimately have a say in, in the game or is it just down to how the players deal with the atmosphere? I think once the players have crossed the line, they're on the pitch and the game's going, there's, you know, the, the managers can make tactical changes in terms of the shape of the team and stuff, but it is down to the players. They've got to, if things get heated, they've got to compose themselves on the ball. And that's where experience comes in, not lose the heads, rash tackles and things like that, which Derby games can, you know, like you, you mentioned, like Willie can be, was fiery mm. as a player. There's lots of players like that. And it's keeping your lid on it where you're using your fire to uh, make the right tackles, but not lose your head and be irrational and lunging in and getting booked and stuff like that. So experienced players you need on derby games and you need a, a level cool head at times when things get a bit heated on the pitch because they very often do in derby games, whether it's... Man United, Man City, Liverpool, Everton or big games, you know, people can lose their heads and it's those that are calm on the ball and uh, they're the teams that end up winning the games in the end. 100% mate. Um, just before I ask you for your prediction then, um, what's your favourite derby memory as a player? It doesn't have to be a South Wales derby, you know, just a, a, a derby game that you played in that you kind of look back and you think, yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh... I know you said your memory is not very great, very, uh, very good with the games. <laughs> and I, didn't yeah, yeah. I, can't the remember, I can't remember things from last week, never mind 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably the one that stands out, we had a, a Blackpool uh, derby game against Burnley. Mm. Uh, Sam Allardyce was manager and I think we were both in the top three at the time and we ended up winning 3-1 at home to Bloomfield Road. I scored. So that was one because it took us to the top of the table. So that kind of stands out for me, that one really. Particularly because I, I don't score very many goals and that yeah. day I scored. I mean, it took us to the top of the table as well. So that was a really I was going to say, the, was the goal, like, was it a, a, a trickler? Was it, was it a deflection or was it a rocket? Like, where, where, was, where were we when we it was, say it goal? Was a little, it, I'd love to say it was a 30 yarder in the top corner, but it wasn't. It was a little one two on the edge of the box and I slotted it in. So oh, that's yeah. good. That's I don't I don't I don't I don't know quality. what I was doing in the other half of the field though, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rush of blood. Yeah, um, yeah. So. Okay then, my friend. What do you think the score will be between Cardiff and Swansea on the weekend? I actually think it might be a draw. So yes. I'm hoping Card I'm hoping Cardiff win, but I've got a funny feeling they might cancel each other out. Okay, how's that fence you're sitting on, brother? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was actually, I was supposed to be going to the game with. Uh, yeah, John I remember Williams. you said yeah. You're but not going I'm, now. Uh, no, no. I just realised I'm flying uh, from Heathrow on Saturday night, so I'm, sadly I'll have to miss the game. Can't be in two places at once, unfortunately, my friend. No, no. But I'm I'm hoping that Cardiff win. Yeah, it's quality will shine through. Hopefully, mate. Um, yeah. Listen, Mark. Thank you very much for joining me, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. But uh, it's been a pleasure, as always, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much, buddy. Pleasure to be on. Catch you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.